Dear learners, today we are going to see definition and meaning of research with suitable illustrations. Learning objectives, definition of research, meaning of research with suitable illustration for easy understanding. Let us see definition of research. Research is defined as an organized, systematic, data-based, critical, scientific inquiry or investigation into a specific problem undertaken with the objective of finding answer to it. Now we will see the meaning of each words used in this definition with suitable illustrations. Research is an organized activity. Organized means a well-planned activity. So the research must be planned well and executed to get the exact outcome. So from these pictures you can understand what is organized and what is unorganized. So research should be an organized activity. Research is a systematic work. Systematic means following a proper well-planned order. So research should be started in a order of asking question what, why. Then you have to form a tentative hypothesis, a tentative answer. Then you have to plan the method to find out the answer for your research question. You have to follow the proper scientific method to get the answer. Then you can get the conclusion by analyzing your data. So there should be a systematic, well-planned sequence of activities required in research. Research should be based on data. Data is nothing but information. The information can be get in qualitative form or quantitative form. Quantitative form is in the form of numbers, whereas qualitative form is in the form of words. It can be converted into quantitative form for statistical analysis. So the data should be collected in a scientific manner, that is by using the scientific and standardized testing procedures. The collected data can be analyzed using proper statistics and you can derive the answer for your research question. So data is required for research. Research should be conducted with utmost care. That is why the research is called as critical in nature. The every effort involved in research must be critical and with the exactness in finding the answer. Research should be on specific problem rather than a generalized problem. It should focus on a single event or a specific event. So usually the research is called as a, a process of going depth rather than going in a wider manner. So going depth will get the exact result. The required result can be find out by the proper procedure for your specific problem. Research is called a scientific inquiry or investigation. The scientific inquiry requires some of the steps to be followed. Say for example, step one, make an observation. By observation, you can understand some of the things and you cannot understand, you may not understand some of the problem. Then you can ask question. For the question, you can form a temporary answer that is called as the hypothesis. Then you can conduct your experiment. Then draw conclusion based on your experiment. Then you can share your result with the others by publishing your research. The scientific investigation, the scientific research requires the habit of asking question. Then you have to form a temporary answer called as hypothesis. Then you can go for experiment. Then you can observe and record the changes happened in the experiment. Then analyze the changes through the data analysis. Then find out answer and share the result with others for better understanding and to solve the day-to-day -day problems in their life or in their sporting performance. Research should be objective, more specific to find out the answer. Say for example, your training objective is to improve the fitness qualities of your player. Your training objective is to improve the skill level of your player. So for that you are developing a research process by that you are getting some of the new ideas to find out the solution to improve their qualities either in the fitness level or in the skill level so that the research should focus on the objectives to find out the answer. The objective of your research is to find out the answer for your research question. Find out the 
solution for your research problem. So that different methods and different scientific procedures are used to find out the answer for your research. That is the objective of your research. Hope now you can understand the meaning for each and every terms used in this definition of research. So research should be organized, systematic, data-based, critical, scientific inquiry or investigation into a specific problem undertaken with an objective of finding answer to it. Now let us move on to the meaning of research. Research is a dynamic process to find the answer for a question. Your question may be who, what, where, when, why, how on your day-to-day -day problems or in your sports specific problems. The way in which you are finding the answer for the question is a dynamic process that the entire process is called as research. This is a comprehensive meaning for the term research. Research is a rational way of thinking, expert and exhaustive treatment, search for solution, exactness, analytical analysis of adequate data, relationship between facts and theories, constructive attitude, critical observation, condensed and compactly stated, cautious and careful recording, honesty and hard work. Let us see the meaning for each and every term with the illustration. Research involves rational thinking. Rational thinking is input plus process is equal to output. The experience gained, the opinions received from peoples, the facts observed and the data collected can be analyzed by logical thinking, the rational thinking so that you can derive sound conclusion. As a researcher, for the research process, the rational thinking, the logical thinking is most important. Expert and exhaustive treatment. Research requires consultation with experts to get a proper research process, to get the answer in a correct manner. At the same time, as a researcher, you have to get yourself involved with maximum efforts, the exhaustive effort. The full effort, the all-out effort can be put by the researcher to get the each and every aspect of your research with the 100% effort so that you can get the exact and the required result for your research question. Search for solution. So from the problem, you must take proper procedure to get the solution, to get the answer for the problem. By using the different scientific procedures, and following the different scientific methods, you can find out the answer for your research problem. Research needs exactness in all the procedures involved. Say for example, when you are collecting the data, the testing procedure must be scientific manner. The equipment used in the testing procedure should be well calibered machine. Say for example, the skin fold caliber used in this experiment must be well calibrated so that you can get the exact result. Analytical analysis of adequate data. Data is nothing but information. The information received towards your research must be adequate, must be sufficient enough to face or to have the analysis by using the data science including statistics. So to do the statistics and to get the result by analyzing the data sufficient and adequate number of data is required. Research always finds the relationship between facts and theories. Say for example, the Newton's third law says, for every action there will be an equivalent and opposite reaction. In sports, especially in sprinting event, we are using the starting blocks based on this theory. So the based on the application of this theory, we are getting the starting block to improve our better performance. The same way in sports, many application of theories into practice is because of research. Research needs constructive attitude and critical observation. Constructive attitude is nothing but thinking positively. As a researcher, you have to think positive about the result. As you have to think positive about the, the methods you are going to use to find out the answer. 
so every observation made by the researcher should be in critical nature that means you have to take utmost care in observing the changes happening during the research so that you can get the exact result at the end of your research process condensed and compactly stated condensed means strong the words or sentences used in your research writing must be condensed that means strongly expressed and compactly stated comfortably stated shortly stated say for example see the picture the record player when we use in the olden days its size is big but at the same time it will store only limited number of songs whereas now we are using the cds microchips where the size is small but it can store more data more songs the same way your statements the words used in your research writing should be condensed and compactly stated conscious and careful recording as a researcher you must take utmost care in recording the data the proper scientifically calibrated equipment must be used the standardized testing procedure can be used in measuring the data so that you will get the required and exact data so that you can analyze the data and get the apt result honesty and hard work as a researcher you need honesty and hard work see the picture the umpire is revoking his decision as the decision was wrong so as a researcher if it is a wrong decision is taken by you you must have the honesty to revoke your decision see the next picture the sports person is putting his hard work to maximize his potentials the same way the researcher must put his hard work in all the process of research so that he can get the exact result at the end of the research process see the following video it will show what is hard work and honesty Thank you for further queries contact me or write to me in the given address bye